Hey guys, so we got a picture here from the Logan movie here, and then we got this poster yesterday, um, or a few days ago, uh, this poster announcing that Wolverine 3 would be titled Logan, coming out March 3rd. We also, today we got another photo from uh, the director, I think, and Hugh Jackman themselves. Um, this picture here of Patrick Stewart as uh, Professor Xavier, Professor X, um, which is pretty cool. Um, now, it's obviously just a simple shot of him, but... You know, if you know Patrick Stewart, if you've seen him in a while, he obviously doesn't look like this. And he's, you know, obviously been makeup and all that stuff and making him look older and stuff and really heavily added on him. So it's definitely just saying that this is going to be way in the future. Um, now, it's because it's a Wolverine, it's not good. And because he's in it and it's a uh, Wolverine, I'm assuming it's not, you know, 50 or 100 years. It's not two, 300 years in the future um, because he's still alive unless somehow his powers um, kept him alive. Um, but based on this, I'd say it's at least, you know, at most around a 50, you know, 30, 50 years, somewhere around that, uh, that mark based off of this photo. So it's gonna be interesting to see how, um, how they play this out, you know, if, if it is a couple hundred years old and he was kind of in between there, he was somehow frozen or, you know, uh, in cryogenic freeze or something, maybe some sort of uh, mutant industry like the Weapon X project, he even got a hold of him because he's a most part, one of the best, one of the most common mutants and they kind of, you know, froze him to keep him alive and use him and recreate his powers and stuff like that. Um, and maybe that's why he's alive in this whole, this age or something like that. Um, and so he was just, his aging process was going to slow down or something. We'll have to wait and see. But I think that this could mean that it is going to be only a couple of uh, years, um, a couple of years actually, um, uh, how long the, the movie, it could be like a couple of years, only like a couple of decades, you know, not a hundred years or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, because I don't know how old actually Wolverine is actually supposed to be in, um, in, by, in Old Man Logan in the comics. I definitely want to be reading that before the movie comes out in March, but this is definitely looking cool to see our first look at uh, Patrick Stewart, Professor Xavier. So let me know what you think, guys. It's pretty cool that he also has hair here. So does that mean uh, his powers are working? Because if it's connected to the... Um, you know, if it's connected to the 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 Patrick Stewart, uh, no, Patrick Stewart, um, Mal James McAvoy, even he took the serum that uh, that uh, Beast made him. It turned off his powers, but it also made him able to walk. So definitely going to be interesting to see how this how this goes because we have seen some set photos of him um, in a wheelchair being pushed by Wolverine and stuff. Uh, but Logan, I should say, um, but uh, he is bald there. So it's going to be interesting to see if you know, uh, well. Does he, you know, take the serum and it turns off his power so he can't be de detected as a mu mutant and, uh, you know, uh, and can he walk in this thing because he has hair? Um, or is it just its own thing and it's not going to talk about how that serum that uh, James McAvoy used? So we're going to have to wait and see, see what happens, but this is definitely pretty interesting, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.